Good day, Grade Twelves. Welcome to this last lesson in Week Eight, and we're still looking at organic molecules. In this lesson, we're going to bring together all the knowledge we've learned so far about organic molecules, and we're going to be looking at the physical properties of organic molecules, and this is very important. So please play, play close attention to the video that is in the next slide. <laughs> Welcome grade 12s to this session on the physical properties of organic compounds. Today we will look at the physical properties of organic compounds and the relationship between these physical properties and the structure of the molecules. Let's explain what physical properties we mean. We will look at melting point, boiling point, vapor pressure, flammability and viscosity. There are patterns in these physical properties that are influenced by various factors in the structure of the molecule. Factors that we will consider are the intermolecular forces, the type of functional group, the chain length and the shape of the molecule. Let's begin with the type of intermolecular force. Do you recall what intermolecular forces are from your grade 11 work? Intermolecular forces are the attractive forces that exist between molecules of a substance that exists as a solid or liquid. Intermolecular forces between molecules can be either van der Waals forces or hydrogen bonding. There are different types of van der Waals forces such as dipole-dipole forces and induced dipole-induced dipole forces. These are also known as London or dispersion forces. Dipole-dipole forces are small electrostatic forces between polar molecules. London forces exist between nonpolar molecules and are only significant in the absence of other intermolecular forces. Van der Waals forces are generally weak. A compound having such forces therefore generally has low boiling or melting points since the intermolecular forces require less heat energy to separate the molecules. Vapor pressure is the pressure exerted by a vapor when it is in equilibrium with the solid or liquid phase of the same substance. Vapor pressure is inversely proportional to the boiling points. Low boiling point means it is easier for the substance to become a gas. Therefore, the vapor pressure of these compounds is usually high. A substance with a low boiling point and high vapor pressure is also likely to be more flammable than a similar substance with a low vapor pressure. The next question is, which organic compounds have van der Waals forces between the molecules? The hydrocarbons are the most common group. These van der Waals forces are relatively weak. Hydrogen bonding is a stronger force than the other intermolecular forces. Hydrogen bonding is a special type of dipole-dipole attraction that occurs when a hydrogen atom is joined to an oxygen atom in a molecule. The actual hydrogen bond exists between a hydrogen atom in one molecule and the nitrogen, oxygen or fluorine atom of a neighboring molecule. Substances with hydrogen bonds between molecules therefore have high boiling or melting points and low vapor pressure. They are likely to be solids at room temperature, but may also be liquids. An example of a substance with hydrogen bonding is ethanol. In the diagram, the dotted lines represent the hydrogen bonds between oxygen, the red balls, and hydrogen, the white balls. Hydrogen bonding is a strong intermolecular force. Other organic compounds containing hydrogen bonding are the carboxylic acids, aldehydes, and ketones. Let's get a mirror to explain more about hydrogen bonding. Let's look at molecules containing a hydroxyl group. It seems that these molecules must have strong forces of attraction because of their high boiling points. Look carefully at this model of the propanoic acid molecule. The gray spheres represent carbon atoms. The red ones represent oxygen atoms while the white spheres represent hydrogen atoms. Notice that at the end of this molecule, we have hydrogen directly bonded onto an oxygen atom to form the hydroxyl group. 
Oxygen is more electronegative than hydrogen and does not share the bonding pair of electrons equally. So a partial negative charge forms on the oxygen atom and a partial positive charge forms on the hydrogen. This means that this molecule is not nonpolar like the hydrocarbons but is polar. Can you see what this means for the forces of attraction? The positive hydrogen end of the molecule is attracted to the negatively charged oxygen end of a different molecule. These electrostatic forces of attraction between molecules are very strong. When chemists first discovered them, they thought they were a new type of chemical bond and called them hydrogen bonds. But we now know that they are not really chemical bonds in which electrons are shared, but they are a special type of intermolecular force. In propanoic acid, hydrogen bonds form between the negative oxygen pole and the positive hydrogen pole of different molecules. More energy is required to break these strong hydrogen bonds and so the boiling and melting points of molecules like propanoic acid that have a hydroxyl group are higher than other isomers that don't have hydroxyl groups. So what happens between molecules that have a carbonyl group? Notice the boiling point of the ester ethyl methanoate is 54 degrees. So at room temperature, this is a liquid. So there are intermolecular forces holding these molecules together. But notice, there are no hydrogen atoms joined directly onto the oxygen atoms. The oxygen atoms will still form a slightly negative end and the carbon will be slightly positive. But no hydrogen bonds form. The intermolecular forces are weaker van der Waals forces and a small amount of energy can separate these molecules. So the boiling point of ethyl methanoate is lower than propanoic acid. Let us now talk about the effect of chain length on the physical properties. By chain length, we refer to the number of carbon atoms in the longest chain of organic compounds, especially hydrocarbons. When the chain is longer, there is greater surface available for van der Waals intermolecular interactions. More van der Waals interactions means that it is more difficult to separate molecules. More heat energy is required and hence compounds with longer chains have higher boiling and melting points. The trend is therefore increasing melting and boiling points as we move from methane to ethane to propane to butane, etc. The table shows the increase in the melting and boiling points, as well the gradual change in state from gas to liquid and solids as the molecular mass increases. Similarly, the vapor pressure becomes less and less in that order. Also, as the chain length increases, the compounds become more viscous and do not flow readily because of the effect of more van der Waals forces. Note that if the chain is longer, the molecular mass is greater. We often use molecular mass to compare physical properties in a homologous series. What then is the effect on physical properties of branching? Branched chains have less surface area exposed for van der Waals intermolecular forces. Let us compare pentane, 2-methylbutane and 2,2-dimethylpropane. These three compounds are isomers. Do you still recall what isomers are? They are organic compounds with the same molecular formula but with different structural arrangements. They also have different physical properties. Straight chain alkanes have higher boiling points than branched chain alkanes due to the greater surface area in contact and thus more van der Waals forces between molecules. For example, Compare 2-methylpropane, which boils at minus 12, and butane, which boils at 0 degrees Celsius. A similar pattern can be seen in pentane, a straight chain, compared with 2-methylbutane with a single branch, and 2-2-dimethylpropane with two branches. 
Pentane has a greater surface area available for intermolecular forces, hence its boiling point is greater. The boiling point of 2-methylbutane is less than that of pentane, but more than that of 2,2-dimethylpropane. The existence of different functional groups and isomers also influences the physical properties. Let's look at this effect. Compare the boiling points of these isomers. We can see that something strange stands out. The two molecules consist of exactly the same atoms and have the same formula and molecular mass. But we can see that the boiling points are very different. See, it will take more energy to boil propanoic acid than to boil ethyl methanoate. Boiling a molecule weakens the forces of attraction between molecules. So if the boiling point is higher, it means that the forces of attraction between the molecules are stronger. Let's see if you have the main idea. If we compare ethanol with ethane, which has the higher boiling point? Ethanol has a higher boiling point because it has hydrogen bonding between molecules. Ethane has only the weaker van der Waals forces between molecules. Physical properties are therefore an indicator of the type of bonding that may be present in a molecule.